Hey! What are you doing here? If you're like me, you're here to watch Super M Tiger inside all, but probably not like me. You've probably already seen the video. Cause that's how it is, right? Like we usually watch reactions of shit that we already know is dope and then you go watch someone else watch it, which puts a lot of pressure on me cause probably you're only here cause you already think the song is awesome. And what if I disagree? Probably not going to, cause the song's called Tiger Inside, right? And you know me, my favorite type of music is like upbeat groove. Upbeat groove is like, unless I had a bad, 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 bad day and I just like, I wanna like, I want someone to make me cry. Other than that, I like upbeat groove. And with a name like Tiger inside, I will be 100% shocked if this is like a sad ballad. Anyway, Super M. And three other Hangul characters. Ah, shit. Oh. <gasps> I know that's what it's Horangi because that's what I call the cat Horangi. I... Someone put in the comments like a year ago, Harangi, so I thought Harangi meant cat, so I always called the cat Harangi. Harangi, Harangi, Harangi. Then I found out it's not Harangi, it's Goyangi. So I was calling her Goyangi for a while. And then I changed my mind and made a hybrid English Hangul hybrid micro Harangi. So the song's just called Tiger, but the English one is Tiger inside. Learn something new every day. Right? I mean, how are you not learning something new today? Let's go. Good job, bitches. Yeah. If you are not thinking about Wolf, it is Wolf, right? Exo Wolf. They're like, start off in the tree shape. If you're not thinking about that, uh, come on. Also, me being like, maybe my hair went too red. And he's like, man, let me come in. Hey, let me show you what color it could be. All right. I actually have hot pink, but I don't. I don't think I can just add hot. Tie me, tie me up. Actually, to me, this is chill dance. It's danceable, but it's also chillable, which is kind of what you see me doing. I'm like chilling to it. I just love that um, pitched percussion in the background. <laughs> It's not wolf. Is it growl? Is it wolf? I am ashamed. I should know. It's growl. It's wolf. Growl. Well, I'm not, dude. I'm not. I'm not living my life this way. I'm gonna find out the answer right now. That's what we have fucking phones for, man. Exo. It's a growl. You already knew that. So bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. He does turn into a wolf in the fucking video, right? Like, I'm not crazy. In the EXO video, he turns into a wolf. I'm gonna choose to believe when they go, Ooh, I can't go high enough. Maybe I could, but I'm just scared. But the, that little thing, I'm gonna choose to perceive that as a growl. Like from a tiger. Okay, this does remind me of something that I wanted to say earlier, but now I guess I'm gonna say it now. 
I think one of my, you see my favorite or my second favorite part from the first half of this song was when Bakeyun came in and sang. But that's not this time, that's the other time. Because it was just like a, such a contrast to what was going on. Okay, it's unquestionable. Well, I say unquestionable, but I realize I'm being very arrogant because I'm assuming that you're wrong and I'm right. But uh, this is the best look, I think, of the whole video. Other than that fucking dope ass hair earlier. Hey. Well, I always feel like I'm the weirdo, which is probably good. And if you're going to have a YouTube channel, it's probably good. It's probably useful to be the weirdo. Um, what I think about the song, as you could probably see me, you could see on my face, um, I fucking love the song. Love it. I think sometimes the Super M dance stuff has this level of cheesiness to it, which I'm fine with. I'm fucking 100% fine with it. I went to the fucking concert, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 100% fine with it. But it's like treading the balance between cheesiness and dopeness. I think this was just 100% spectacular, no cheese at all, just a killer video killer song. However, I'm loving it in the future. Now this is weird, right? Because you're watching me in the past. It's the present for you. I'm recording in the past. But I am loving the song in the future. The fuck does that mean? What am I saying? As I was listening to the song, what I was actually thinking about is, oh, oh shit. When I go outside in a second, and I'm having a little bit of white claw, a little bit of vodka. I'm excited to turn this song on again and just fucking be loving it because it is a perfect song for me. But it's not a song. I did lose, I, you know, I did kind of, you know, bounce around in the chair a little bit. But it's like when I'm watching this song, I kind of just like watching it. Like, I'm just like sitting here, like, I'm like. Watching it. But when I'm not watching it, I'm predicting the future because I'm not there yet. Although by the time, it's funny, by the time you've seen this, the future for me has already happened because I'm about to go do this right after this, but this video is going to come out probably two or three hours after this, right? So it's time travel, man. I'm in the past, you're in the present. I'm about to go do my future, but my future is still in your past. Ooh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fucking time traveler. Yeah, so I'm like super excited to uh, just go listen to it again. Yeah. Oh, um, is there obvious shit that I didn't say? There is some obvious shit I didn't say. One, uh, Kai killed it, and Kai's kind of gelled hair he had in the middle of the video was super on point, super good, good looking and fashionable. But again, that's like what they all do. They all do that. And no disrespect to the dude whose name I don't know. I'm sorry, I should know everyone's name, but I don't. I don't. I mean, it's like a word bank. Like, I know everyone's name in the group, but I don't know who was who that I don't know. Um, that scene with the rap and the tiger print, I think, the yellow and black tiger print on the motorcycle, that also, I thought, was was a pretty, pretty fucking amazing. We cover everything. Let's do a quick a quick wrap up. I think of a perfect example. 
when I heard jopping, I was like, ah, put your head. That's my impression of what's. It's like also when we went to the concert, jopping was the uh, first song we played. But anyways, jopping, I kind of like. I, I haven't seen my reaction video. I don't remember what I did in the video, but if I remember correctly, which I probably don't, is I was probably like, ah, shit, ah, shit. Which I'm not doing that to this, but this. I mean, this might be like right there with Joppy, as far as how much I enjoy the songs. It's close. I mean, okay. Jopping has to be number one, just because like there's a song like that for, I think for everyone in every group like Taman, Danger, is my clear number one. There's like three other songs that I put right with Danger, um, Want, Move, and Famous. But Danger has to be number one because it's the first song that I heard that made me be like, oh, what? So I think I can't. I think it's kind of like the same way with this. But you know, also like a like hundred was in the, is in the suggested videos. I haven't listened to hundred since like I don't know a week ago, two weeks ago. So I need to check it all out again. But I love that. Also, I think uh, NCT One Twenty Seven has a lot of um, tracks that have that type of drum background, which I also love. There, there, I said, oh, I said everything that I needed to say. So let's use a word that people don't use anymore. I'm gonna skedaddle. Right? <laughs> when do you say skedaddle? No one says, you don't say skedaddle, but I think it's actually really appropriate. I'm going to skedaddle. I actually don't know the real definition of that word. I think it means, I, I assume that it means to leave. Definitely means leave. Maybe it means leave quickly. And I choose to think it means leave quickly in a kind of pleasant manner. Skedaddle. But we have a robot. Hopefully she fucking works. Alexa, define skedaddle. As a verb, skedaddle is usually defined as to run away hurriedly, flee. As a noun, skedaddle is usually defined as. Alexa, stop. To run away hurriedly. That's okay, I am running away hurriedly. But I think it should have a little bit of pleasantness in there. Because you wouldn't say, like, oh, there's a tiger. I'm gonna skedaddle. Tiger inside, get it? We tied it all together. Hey, there's a tiger, I'm gonna skedaddle. Cause that means leave hurriedly. No, I wouldn't skedaddle away from a tiger. I wouldn't skedaddle away from a sniper. I wouldn't skedaddle away from a fire. That, that to me does not seem like an appropriate use of the word skedaddle. Right? Hey, my friend says there's a dope ass party down the street. So I'm gonna skedaddle and go to the party. See? Right, right. Or, um, someone just showed up with some ice cream, so I have to leave. I gotta go, you know, hey, the ice cream's here. I gotta skedaddle. Doesn't that seem... It seems more correct to me. That has more correct correctitude. This concludes our clickbait title. You thought it was a K-pop reaction. No, it is a find out the definition of skedaddle reaction. That was the real reaction. It's a reaction inside a reaction. All right, let's all skedaddle.